Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Starlord. How are you guys doing? Hope that you're having a fantastic weekend. I hope that all of you have a great day. Um, anyway, today's video is going to be another Pokemon Brick Bronze video, kind of discussing what we can see probably in the next update, which is going to be the 8th gym update. Of course, with this 8th gym update, there's going to be a load of new Pokemon, a load of new story, because obviously we're getting closer to actually uh, seeing Hoopa uh, being unreleased in its ultimate form. Um, I can't remember what the forms call. I forget it all the time. Um, but basically, there's going to be a whole lot of new stuff in this new update that you guys are going to be going crazy for. And uh, one thing that we actually have seen in the Pokemon Brick Bronze universe yet is the Ultra Beasts and uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. What Ultra Beasts we will most likely see in the update if at all um, and yeah, I just thought that I wanted to talk about this to be honest because it is a hot topic And I know that you guys are really really anticipating the arrival of these Pokemon or ultra beasts I guess I don't know if you guys class them as Pokemon. I kind of do personally um, But anyway everyone's to their own uh, But before we get into the video guys Don't forget to leave a like as it does help me out and also comment down below who is your favorite ultra beast? I actually really like Poyapol. I think it is. It's like one of the new ones. Yeah, it's pretty cool I like it so yeah, um, also if I do announce or pronounce any of these names incorrectly, feel free to bash me in the comments. I am terrible at pronunciation and you know what, I kind of deserve it. So yeah, um, but anyway guys, let's get into it. So first of all, Ultra Beasts have not actually been revealed in Pokemon Brick Bronze yet and I kind of feel that the storyline is getting near enough to, I say, let's say the last, th like the final quarter of its actual kind of, um, I guess, lifespan or something like that, because obviously at the 8th gym, we will complete the 8th gym, and uh, we'll kind of figure out something going on um, with the actual baddies in this game, you know, we'll kind of figure out what they're trying to do exactly, and where their steps are going to take them next, and then after the 8th gym comes the Elite Four, and of course, after the Elite Four, the game is kind of a little bit gone, like, I mean, you know, it finishes there, and there's going to be a lot of end game content, such as new Pokemon that you can catch, um, maybe a Mewtwo or something like that, uh, Ultra Beasts, and then, of course, um, a lot of other stuff too, you know, they'll probably release a lot of Legends after the full game has completely finished, the storyline's ended, and they'll make kind of end game content. But personally, for me, I think that the Ultra Beasts should be announced now, so that we kind of know that they're in the universe and to let like kind of a storyline take place so that after the game ends you know there is more to the story you know that then there's more about the whole game itself um personally i don't know i think it should be kind of like pokemon's ultra ultra sun ultra moon or you know just sun and moon itself where we kind of first encounter the ultra beast that kind of has that little weird hat thing on its head i think it's called Lego, Nini Lego, or something? Is that its name? Is that how you pronounce it? Nini Lego, Nini Lego. I don't know. It's it, they've got weird names anyway. But basically, as we were like halfway into the storyline of Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, this Ultra Beast was actually announced to us, and we were like, oh my god, it's from a different dimension and everything, an Ultra Wormhole, if you like. And we then actually discovered that wow, there is actually Pokemon type creatures from other dimensions in the Pokemon universe, which we kind of knew anyway, because some of the legendaries are, you know, from outer space. Uh, I, I guess, I, I guess, um, Deoxys is kind of like from outer space, you know, his DNA, and it kind of drifted through space and time and everything like that. Uh, so we kind of knew that anyway, but we do have an actual kind of uh, announcement here that, you know, there are other Pokemon in other kind of places that we yet to know about. And I think that is a really interesting thing that we can do with Pokemon on um, Brick Bronze, because when we actually first met, um, who was it, Mars Shadow, we went to the Shadow Dimension, and that was extremely cool. I would love to see something along the lines of this, where they introduce a kind of new map into the game, where, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a new map, I don't know, it should just be something like that, where basically you go through an Ultra Wormhole, and then you can actually uh, kind of experience this whole new reality, this whole new plane of existence, where we can actually kind of travel through in Pokemon Brick Bronze, and... I don't know how they're going to do it personally, I don't think it should be like little arenas or anything like that, like they are in Sun and Moon, I don't think that each 
a kind of ultra beast to have their own wormhole, I think like it should be one wormhole and you go through it and over time, over all of the updates, you will discover more places within this little map inside the wormhole. I don't know, I think that would be a kind of cool idea to do. Maybe they could do a couple of easter eggs and everything like that. Um, I don't know, personally. I would love to see more puzzles in the Pokemon game, um, in Pokemon Brick Bronze, because I love the puzzles that actually, like, the development team actually do. I think they're really cool, such as the ones in Aradia City, where, you know, you had to br break all of the rocks to kind of make the sand go and sink through the little hole, and then it revealed one of the gems. I love stuff like that. I think it makes the game last longer, and it's actually all... Uh, kind of fun too. I don't know. So yeah, I would love to see that in the next update and um, maybe just kind of an announcement that yes, Ultra Beasts do exist and make some big huge kind of like cutscene where you know the wormhole opens up and then this Ultra Beast comes out and maybe it kind of attacks or something or does something to kind of protect you or somebody there in the room or something like that. And then you're able to like attack it and everything but after you defeat it, it's not yet catchable. And then you're like, I don't know, I, I just... Oh, I don't really know. I want you guys to actually comment down below how you think a perfect example for introducing Ultra Beasts would be for Pokemon uh, Brick Bronze. I would love to know what you guys think personally. I don't know. I would love to see something like Pokemon Sun and Moon, like I said. But I think personally that the game is getting near the end now uh, in terms of story content. And I think now they should start branching off in different storylines that you can actually go down. So let's say, for example, in the next kind of uh, place that you go to, which is going to be Crescent Island, when you go there, there should be a guy who's kind of like, oh, uh, did you know about uh, Mew's clone or something? You know, just kind of like hint that Mewtwo is somewhere out there in the universe and then kind of give you a clue as to where to go next in the actual game. But obviously, that area is not yet available because they haven't updated it. I, th I feel like there needs to be more storylines in this game. I really do. And I think that now is the best time to start doing them and to start planning them out. So if any of the development team is actually watching this video right now, please, I recommend you guys to start planning out story-like side quests, like side quests that actually take you, you know, a day or two to complete in order to get an awesome legendary slash mythical or ultra beast Pokemon. I don't know, it'd be fun, it would make the game last longer, it, it just kind of makes sense, you know, it's like DLC, you know, you don't want a DLC where you get into the game and you can complete it right away. DLC, downloadable content, is made so that the game is stretched on for like two months or a month but obviously in this case you know make it a week not like a month or something like that i don't know it it would just make sense personally i would enjoy it i know a lot of other pokemon brick bronze players would enjoy it and if you would right now who's listening to this video please comment down below if you think this is a good idea to release an update that is as long as a DLC pack. I don't know, personally it's good, and I don't know, it's obviously free, so it doesn't cost you anything. I don't know, it, it just makes sense, personally, to me. Uh, but obviously everyone has their own kind of uh, opinions and everything, and if your opinion is different from mine, feel free to comment it down below and comment your experience or kind of your ideas for how you think they should actually introduce the Ultra Beasts into Pokemon Sun and Moon. And comment down below who your favorite one is. I know a lot of people really like Necro... Necrozama or something? Necrozima or something like that? I, I, I can't pronounce these names. If Pokemon names weren't hard enough, they go and announce all these crazy names like... Stakakaka, Stakakaka. It's crazy. It's so crazy, all of these names. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think this would be a perfect perfect time to actually like announce one of the Ultra Beasts at least. Or kind of even get one of the NPCs to kind of talk about something like, you know, in one of the islands or something in Roria, you know, uh, somebody discovered this huge wormhole or something. And now like this big team is investigating it or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. It'd be pre pretty cool, in my opinion. Um... But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video about my opinions on the Ultra Beasts, when I think they will come. Like I said, I honestly feel like there will be a hint at them in the next update, and uh, I don't know, I really hope this is true. I've seen a lot of people who are close to the development team actually kind of giving hints that there is going to be an Ultra Beast or some kind of wormhole kind of like introduced. 
So that's kind of what sparked this whole kind of topic in my head. And I thought, you know what, that would be a kind of cool thing to make a video on and kind of see what your guys' opinions are on the subject. So again, feel free to comment them down below. And don't forget to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy the little conversation, the kind of uh, little, uh, I guess, what, what is this? A little theory, I guess? I don't know. I guess something like that. Uh, but anyway, guys, have a very awesome day. And until next time, I mean Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.